Hello, I'm Nick Clark. Some of the top stories here on Al Jazeera. The retrial of the former Egyptian president, Hosea Mubarak, has been postponed indefinitely. The 84-year-old turned up at court only for the presiding judge to refuse to hear the case. Outside the courthouse, both pro- and anti-Mubarak supporters chanted and waved banners on hearing the news. Mubarak, along with his former interior minister and four others, faced charges over deaths of more than 800 people during protests in 2011. Venezuela's vice president says a plot to disrupt Sunday's presidential election has been foiled. Jorge Arireza says security forces captured two Colombian paramilitary fighters with explosives and assault rifles. It is the latest incident in what's been a dramatic campaign. Teresa Bow has more now from Caracas. The latest accusations came from the government where uh, President uh, acting President Nicolás Maduro accused the opposition of trying to destabilize the elections. The vice president also said that on Friday they detained five people who had plans to disrupt the electoral process. They're also saying that Enrique Capriles is not going to recognize the results on Sunday. On the other hand, Enrique Capriles is saying that uh, Nicolás Maduro is accusing him of abuse of power. He's also accusing him of not... The U.S. Secretary of State has met China's top leaders in Beijing. John Kerry held talks with President Xi Jinping a day after meeting South Korean officials to discuss North Korea's recent threats of war. The North's been angered by international sanctions following a nuclear test and by military exercises involving the US and South Korea. Across Southeast Asia, many are celebrating Buddhist New Year. It's a time for family to pay respects by pouring water on the hands of elders and asking for blessing. In Bangkok, the week has become more of a giant water fight rather than something spiritual. But given that it's the hottest time of the year in the city, many say it's a welcome relief. Uh, you can find the latest on all those stories and a lot more at aljazeera.com.